Libra. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. Uh, getting ready here to do your reading. A couple things before we start. If you're new to the channel, everything you need to know is in the description box. Details regarding uh, personal readings. Also details how to win a free personal reading. And then lastly, there will be an extended reading link in the description box and in the comments. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will look at the next five weeks energy moving forward, giving you some timing, and I will dig a bit deeper. So with that, let's just cut these cards. Let's see what the energy is here for you and love. Okay, oh, interesting. We have unexpected here. Okay, I see this as an unexpected message. This person's looking at their phone, but it could mean something else. I'm gonna wait until we see what your other cards are. Now we also have here finances. Now this can also talk about, not just about money, can talk about success, it can talk about effort, putting the work in. Okay, oh, and we got addiction here. All right, got, uh, that can talk about uh, toxic things, toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession. All right, oh, is someone obsessed with you, Libra? That's what I'm feeling here. Okay, is someone blowing up your phone or is someone going to blow up your phone? I don't know, let's see what else here. Okay, and we have uh, the truth here. Okay, what I'm really getting, um, Libra, actually, now that the truth card came out, I feel like there is a situation that you could be dealing with a person here that you may find out some sort of truth about this person and it feels like it's an unhealthy behavior. Now, some of you, now it could be that you find out something about um, this person's financial situation. Maybe you're gonna find out, you know, that they have money problems. Maybe they have some sort of addiction here. But I also, I feel like there's something here about truth, confession, uh, secrets revealed. So uh, interesting, there may be somebody that you are, you have suspicions about is what I'm getting here and you may find out something. So let's see what the um, tarot has to say here. Thank you spirit and angels for your guidance. Now, some of you could have already uh, found out. Just know that the timing is different for everybody. Okay, we have the world, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo energy. We have, oh, look at that. There's truth again, King of Swords. Okay, again, uh, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Look at that. We got Eight of Pentacles, which is this energy here. bottom of the deck here we have the three of pentacles okay i feel like libra it's showing me here uh the world some sort of change that's happening here okay some sort of new beginning i feel like you find out the truth about something here um you know it could be something shocking something that you didn't expect it's an unpredictable pre predictable energy here okay I almost feel like, too, some of you, you could be getting a message here. This can show me a message uh, from someone you're not expecting. Now, this could be someone also doesn't have to be addiction. This could also be someone who maybe is going to still try and put in uh, the effort with you. Could be somebody obsessed. Just know that this could be an obsessive energy. Okay. Eight of Pentacles, the truth, confession. All right. So not as bad as I think um, I originally thought, but you could have found out something about this person or you're going to, but I feel like this person here, um, there's something here about this revealing something to you because I feel like with this three of pentacles, look at that, three of pentacles, eight of pentacles, and the nine of cups. Now, there is this possibility I'm getting here too. There could be a new romantic opportunity coming in here for you. So I want to clear. I want to pull some more cards. What else does Libra need to know? What else does Libra need to know? Okay, there we go.
So we got the Sun card. So there's definitely some sort of cycle here. Some sort of cycle I feel that is changing. We have the Sun, could be dealing with a Leo. So something that it feels like there's um, happiness, prosperity here. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got the Six of Pentacles. Now this can be communication. Someone coming towards you. Somebody I feel that wants to put the work in. Interesting energy. Okay, now, okay, here it is again. Look at that, the devil. This could be someone a bit obsessive, or I'm just going to say here, there could be someone who does have some sort of, uh, you know, addiction, but this can also be someone here who has kind of an obsession with you, Libra. It doesn't want to let you go type of energy let's see what what else we have here and we have the tower yeah and look the three of pentacles there's something here i almost feel like there's going to be another energy that is going to surface here besides somebody um this person that i'm picking up in your energy because we got the, yeah i called it look at that we got the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like there's another upcoming opportunity here, okay, with this Ace of Cups, because it's showing me the Seven of Cups, you're gonna have some options here. You're gonna have some options. I just noticed this card was turned around. And this is also about you making some healthy choices here because it almost feels like somebody, there is already somebody around you and it, it does not feel like this is someone who is a healthy choice. But the interesting thing is, is I feel like you're going to hear from this person. That's what's unexpected. Now, this could be someone in the past. Maybe you haven't talked to this person in a while and that could be the shock here that I'm getting. You know, you're not expecting to hear from this person. This could be someone you dealt with that where it was uh, a toxic relationship. But tell me more about this Six of Pentacles. And I'm going to see, um, it does feel like there could be some sort of confession or truth here too with that King of Swords. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. Okay, Four of Cups. And we have the Hangman. All right. You know what it is here, uh, Libra, what I feel here. Got the full card. <clears throat> I feel like this is someone like, it's almost like um, there has been some sort of delay between you and this person. You didn't see the effort. Okay, again, this is showing effort here. You didn't see the effort from this person. This is someone I feel like that, um, you know, you felt very disappointed. This is someone, they didn't make things happen really is what I'm getting here. They didn't make things happen with you. And I feel like for a lot of you, you know, you just got tired of waiting here and I feel like you decided, you know what, I'm just gonna take that risk and, and leap of faith and walk towards something new. And then here they come. That's what I'm getting here. I feel like that you're gonna hear from someone that you just, you were disappointed because this was someone who couldn't make things happen. Okay, this fell out, yeah. Look at that. I said you couldn't they couldn't make things happen. And here's the King of Wands. The King of Wands is all about action. And I feel like with the Ace of Swords, you just decided to kind of detach from this person is what I'm getting here. But I see this person coming around. Let's see uh, why this King of Swords is here. Tell me more about this King of Swords. And, you know, I'm getting here because there's t there was something here, the behavior or toxicity or something about this person. There's a snake here. It's like this, things were delayed, I feel, because of some sort of behavior or something toxic that this person had in their life that was preventing um, you and this person from moving forward. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Okay, it feels like these two want to come out here. Oh boy, yeah, look at that. There you are. The Empress and the Page of Cups. And we have the Wheel. This person's coming back around. Okay, there, there's, there's definitely communication, a message here. The Wheel, they want a new, uh, they, they're coming back around. They're going to probably send you some sort of flirty message is what I'm getting here. Look at that. The wheel, the two of cups, and we have the two of wands. I feel like Libra, this is someone you have a strong connection with, but I feel like kind of logically, 
I feel like you kind of detached from this person because I sense that, you know, again, like this was someone who couldn't make things happen. There was always, I feel like, delays here with this person, okay? So whether it was behaviors, addictions, you know, this person involved themselves in things that they knew they shouldn't do is the energy that I'm getting there. Or like if you didn't know what prevented it, I feel like that's what prevented it. Let me clarify addiction. Let's see what comes out when I clarify addiction. Tell me more about addiction. Tell me more about addiction or this toxic energy. Okay, we got the emperor and the strength. Okay, well, it, what I feel here that this is someone who um, had a lot of ego, had a lot of pride. That's the behavior here. This is someone very disciplined. This could be someone uh, stubborn. I'm gonna say for some of you, it could have even been someone who was married. Uh, that's not gonna resonate with everybody. But I feel like there was a lot of ego and pride with this person. And that prevented, I feel like this is someone I feel who held back. And it may be that they held back because of those behaviors, okay? And we got the devil energy here too, which is the same. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. I also get Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. But, you know, again, I see communication. They're seeing you, right, as this beautiful empress, I feel like this is someone who realizes, right, that you were very um loving you know i feel here kind giving also very um i feel they may see you as charming definitely get a very creative energy here too they may have seen you as very creative or artistic but let's see why the page of pentacles is here tell me more about the page of pentacles some kind of message coming through could be another person here okay these three cards wanted to come out yeah there's another energy here I, I i but we do have judgment here too but i feel like this is about you making a judgment call remember i said i feel like a lot of you tried to detach from this energy or you're detaching from this energy and i feel like you know you got judgment here okay it's not only about someone returning from the past but i feel like this is about you making a judgment call and moving forward because we do have the chariot cancerian energy i and i see pisces here too but i feel like this is about you learning from the past i feel like there was definitely something some sort of behavior in the past that you weren't happy with with this person and some of you may have found out something or you're going to find out something about this person's behavior but what's interesting is you're going to hear from this person you're going to get some like flirty text message um, they're going to feel it out they're going to see how you respond because they do see you in high regard here as the empress that's probably why they're very attracted to you look at that you have the emperor there too i just noticed that so they do see you as somebody they could be in a relationship with, but I feel like their ego, their pride gets in the way. This could be someone who likes attention. we got strong Leo and Aries here as well. But when I clarify this other energy, this page of pentacles, because we do have a three of pentacles, which could be an indication there could be more than one person here. Look at that. We get the ace of pentacles, the temperance, Sagittarius, and we have uh, the king of cups. It could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. But I feel like um, Libra, I feel like this is about you making a judgment call. I almost feel like they're telling you it's going to wor be worth the wait because I almost feel like there's a bigger opportunity here for you because, you know, again, this devil is showing up. I feel like Spirit's trying to remind you of some sort of behavior with this person. But let's, I'm going to clarify the devil Let's see why the devil is here. Now, it could be this person's not wanting to let you go, right? Okay, now it's interesting because I just saw this too, right? I feel like this person disappointed you. You're very hesitant about this person because this is someone who couldn't make things happen, right? They weren't a mover. They weren't a shaker here. This is someone I feel who delayed things. And I feel like now you're starting to see the situation for what it is. But what I'm also getting is there's four cups here, right? There's three other cups. 
Okay, this is the disappointment that maybe this is someone made you feel rejected or somebody who didn't accept your offer. But I, I sense here because look, the Six of Pentacles. There's something here about you making a decision. Where am I going to put my time and my energy is really what I get. And I feel there's other people around you who are interested in you, Libra, who find you attractive. Uh, because I see it here. I feel like um, Spirit's showing you here that there is a new person coming in. Um, there's something here about timing, divine timing here with temperance. Maybe you, some of you are healing uh, from a, a situation that wasn't healthy. But I see someone very genuine coming towards you with this king of it's a peaceful energy. The King of Cups is very peaceful. The King of Cups is also very kind of uh, diplomatic, right? We have the star. So that tells me that someone new I feel is coming in for you, Libra. Someone I feel that may be more in alignment with your energy. But again, this other person's coming through. We're going to see more um, about this other person too. I will uh, ask some questions there. We'll see what else we can get. But let's see why the devil is here. Maybe this tells you more about this person. But tell me more about the devil. Tell me more about the devil. Okay. Judgment came up again. Oh, wow. Knight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and we also have here the Lovers. I was not expecting this, Libra. I feel like this this person, I feel like this is going to be someone that may be a temptation for you. Got the lover's Gemini energy. We have the Hierophant Taurus energy. I feel like, you know... At first, when I looked at this, I almost thought this person's coming towards Libra wanting a relationship. But actually, now that I'm looking at it more, I don't feel that. I feel like you and this person have this very magnetic pull to each other. Uh, you may feel very comfortable. You may feel like you knew this person before. But there's something toxic here. There's some some sort of behavior here. It's um, it's this person doesn't want to let you go because they feel this very strong connection. I do feel like this person may try to come towards you and say that they want a relationship. But with this Knight of Pentacles, I see this person like they're very slow moving. And remember, that could be the pattern with this person here because I said that this felt like somebody who just couldn't make it happen, right? Maybe you didn't, you didn't feel stable, secure. I don't feel like this person made it happen, but yet this person I feel is gonna come back around, right? They're gonna feel it out with you. They're gonna say here, um, I wanna work towards a relationship, but I do feel like this person's gonna go really, really slow, and the devil shows me that you could repeat a pattern. That may be why I'm seeing here that Spirit's trying to show you there is another offer coming in here for you more in alignment with your energy, okay? So I feel like an alignment too within timing with uh, the temperance. As I said, oh, look at that. It showed up again. Judgment, chariot, and then now we also have here the wheel. So this is where you're going to have to make a judgment call. Now we do have tower energy here. So again, look at that. Unexpected energy. Let's see what's unexpected here. And in three three of pentacles, okay? This could be three three people in a situation. But tell me more about this tower. Tell me more about this tower. Okay. We got Eight of Cups, Queen of Cups. We have uh, the Death Rebirth card. We got Scorpio Energy. Yeah, this is what you're not expecting. I feel like emotionally... I feel like you're not feeling emotionally satisfied with this situation, okay? The tower is showing that it's not stable with this person, I feel, that's coming back around. 
I feel like a lot of you may be deciding here, exploring here, other possibilities. Like I said, there's a new one coming in here. But what's interesting, I just keep getting this energy. This person's not going to give up. Okay, we got the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, there's definitely burdens here in this connection with this person. Let's clarify this Three of Pentacles. You know, this there's fear here, and I feel like you feel an uneasiness with this person. I feel like you don't feel complete peace. And we got Proposal here. Look at that. And then we have new love. See, I feel like there's another love offer coming in because I feel like this is someone, there's somebody that you were dealing with that wasn't, you weren't feeling at peace with this person. And that's showing me here with the eight of cups. So yes, it's unexpected maybe that, you know, this person's going to come around. They're going to say that they want to work towards a relationship, but I see you not feeling emotionally satisfied. So the unexpected here too, maybe that you may decide to end this connection, um, you know, or once and for all, like I'm moving towards something else. But let's see why the three of pentacles is here. Tell me more. Okay. And then after this, I think I'm going to go to the extended um, and I'm going to dive deeper in this person because I do feel they're going to come around. And we'll see in the next five weeks if this new love shows up in the next five weeks. Huh? Look at this. Wow. Three of Pentacles. Remember I told you three people. We got the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups. There's, there's something happening here, Libra. Look at that. It's manifesting. King of Pentacles and the Magician. There's a love offer coming through here. I'm just not too sure if this is the new person. Because there's there's two energies here, okay? There's a partner here. I see a happily ever after, a Ten of Cups, a King of Pentacles. We had a King of Pentacles and a King of Cups now, and then we have a Magician. Someone I feel, and that may be what you're not expecting here. I, I almost feel like this could be the new person, just to be, uh, you know, straight here with you Libra I feel like this could be a new person a new love coming in for you and that's you know the judgment that you're going to have to make but you know I'm not going to rule out that it's this other person okay so we'll see in the extended Libra I uh, definitely see some sort of uh, relationship coming together for you but um, I'm going to take it to the extent and we're going to see how this plays out I will dive deeper into this past person what they're thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, their intentions, love notes, and guidance. So I hope to see you in the extended. Um, and I'm sending you angel of